I really love my fridge beans for stamp storage, but on the one hand they look a little bit plain, <sighs> and on the other hand I never know what's where. Shall we fix this? My solution to stamp storage chaos are dividers, but not just any dividers. These are fully customized tabbed rainbow dividers and we're going to create them with a tool that's become my favorite tool for craft room organization. The first thing to do is to decide what colors of cardstock we want to use and to do a little bit of brainstorming. The point here is to subdivide the stamps and dies in categories so we want to have a bit of an idea of what those categories will be. Next up we can create our dividers and it is time for me to introduce you to this amazing tool. This is the We Are Memory Keepers Tab Punch Board and let me tell you I love it. This is one of the most ingenious tools I have seen and I can already see so many uses for my craft room organization. I'm so excited I can't even tell you. The board has a punch that you can use to both create your tabs and to round corners. The punch also comes with a blade and a little guide here that I'm going to talk about later. The reason why I find this punch board super cool is that you can create tabs in three different sizes and you can modify the position of your tabs on your divider so you can have your tab on the left, in the center and on the right of your panels, which is going to come in very handy for today's system. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is to cut the cardstock to size. For my 4x6 and 4x3 stamp sets I'm going to use one size of dividers and I'm cutting my cardstock to 5.5x8.5 inches. For my larger stamps I'm going to cut my cardstock to 7.25x10.5 inches and for my tall pockets I cut my cardstock to 9.5x5.5 inches. Next I'm going to create my tabs and I'm going to keep in mind the order of the colors that I want in my dividers so that I know where to place my tab. I'm gonna show you in a second. The first color is gonna be teal and I'm gonna have my tab on the left which means I'm going to position this little guide here in the whole marks as side tabs. I'm gonna then tuck the cardstock against the guide and punch. Next I'm going to flip the cardstock and I'm going to line it up with one of these guides. This will basically determine the size of my tab. I'm going for a large tab today so I will align it with the corresponding mark and I'll punch again. Here's my tab and all I need to do now is to use the blade at the top to cut off the excess. I also want to round the corners so I'm going to move this little guide to the set of holes on the right hand side and you can see it says here round corners and then I'm going to punch the corners out. The second color will be lilac and for that I'm going to position my tab in the center. To do that I need to remove this little guide altogether and line up my cardstock with one of the guides in this section over here. The numbers that you can see are the size of your panel and you need to line up your cardstock with one of these guides depending on how large you want your tab to be. Again you need to punch your cardstock and use the guide on the left to punch the other side of the tab. Trim off the excess, round up your corners and there you go. My third divider is gonna be pink and for that I want my tab to be on the right. Because my cardstock is white at the back, I'm going to first punch it with the white side up and then I'm going to flip it, make the second punch and repeat all the steps to complete my divider. For my next three colors I did the same thing and I have my left tab on the orange panel, my center tab on the yellow panel and my right tab on the green one. To make my dividers more durable I decided to laminate them and the advantage of this step is also that once you adhere your labels, if at a later point you decide that you changed your mind, you can just peel off the label and stick on a new one. So you can reuse these dividers over and over even if your storage system is going to change. And I know that this might feel a little bit daunting but honestly I created something like 50 of these in less than one afternoon while I was watching tennis so it's totally doable and for me this was another colorful craft project that it's totally gonna be worth it in the end because look at it, it's super pretty and super functional too. For my labels I'm gonna have the abbreviated brand name at the top followed by the word stamps or dies and then at the bottom I'm going to have the category name. 
This will make it very easy to immediately find what I need, also thanks to how we position the tabs. These dividers are the perfect addition to my genius hack for stamp storage and you can check it out in this video right here. Make sure to click and watch cause I'm not the only one who called it genius.